On a recent trip, Mary drove 50 miles. What was the average speed at which she drove the 50 miles? And so average speed, the formula for that is total distance divided by total time. And notice here, the total distance is 50 miles. So we already know that. So really, if we all we need is the total time, and if we knew the total time, we could figure out the average speed. So that's very important to understand. If we know the total time, we can find the average speed. Now, statement number one tells us, breaks the, the trip into two legs, and tells us in the first 30 miles, she goes 60 miles per hour. Then in the last 20 miles, she goes 50 miles per hour. Well, we could figure out the time in each one of these legs very easily. And then once we have those two times, we could add them together. And we would get the total time. Now, because this is data sufficiency, we're going to resist actually going through that calculation. We don't need to do the calculation. All we need to see is that we would be able to do the calculation. Yes, we have the necessary information to calculate that. So we could calculate the total time. From there, we could calculate the average speed. So statement number one by itself is sufficient. Statement number two tells us she drove for a total of 54 minutes. So it just hands us the total time. Total time equals 54 minutes. Well, of course, we'd have to convert that to hours and then et cetera to do the calculation. But we're not actually going to do the calculation because of data sufficiency we know we're given the information we need. From that, we can solve the question. So statement number two by itself is sufficient. Both statements independently are sufficient. The answer is D.